fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Ree's Retro Toys. On today's episode, I'm heading over to Laurel, Maryland to visit the Lost in Time Toy Store. I've only been to this place once. It was probably at least three years ago. It was right around when I started my Instagram account. I posted a uh, Doc Terror figure that I found there, but I've yet to do a video there. I've yet to go there. So today is kind of a, a really yucky, cold day for the end of May. It's right before Memorial Day, so I figured, you know, before the weather gets too nice, it'd be a great day to just kind of drive over there because it's over an hour away from me and uh, just see what they have and, and do a quick video for you guys. And I'm sure they're going to have something that I want. So without further ado, let's get on the road and head over to Maryland to the Lost in Time Toy Store. guys we're at lost in time toy store excited to check this place out again we're here in the cherry tree center in laurel maryland you can see the busy highway behind us but we'll go in and take a look at some toys is it still there yeah it's back there I'll look yeah, at take it a look. You'll see what I'm talking about. You know what the carriage is. Let's pull pilots in. Yep. And you shove it in down below like a magazine. Yeah. Yeah, I tried fixing it, but uh, flips on. Flip up in there. Okay. You know what? It it's that it's that plate that comes down that allows the carriage to come down. And then when you put it back up, it locks back up. Mm -hmm. Is there kind of an organization method to the store? In a sense, uh, a little bit. Um, men are back there. Uh, X Men, DCs here on the end. Uh huh. Transformers, Star Wars. Well, Star Wars is probably in two places. I remember the bags. Yep. My favorite part. The last time I'm here, I got a I got a Doc Terror from Centurions. My favorite part of the store is the beater stuff and those aisles over there. When you Beaters? Loose, Loose or carded? Yeah, no, ships. Like parts of oh, ships. Oh, okay. And, and husks and carcasses, whatever you want to, whatever you can think of. Ectomobiles I've seen in there. Actually, I think he sold that one that was there. Somebody finally bought it. I should have grabbed that. Had three for a while. But I know that Two the, of them were kind of rough. One of them was the one I found out the one that the remakes are doing. It's going to be worth more than the original now because they made it uh, a Walmart exclusive. Oh Walmart man, Walmart. that's cool. Exo Squad. Oh man, Robo One. So yesterday I got a steak and cheese, see the smell good over there? Mm -hmm. That's what, I, what I've been watching, what I've been eating. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. This stuff is delicious. And this morning I went to get her some croissants. There's a bakery in Fulton. Have you been there before? I've seen it but not been there. It's really pricey. Um, so I had this donut, red, white, blue donut. It was delicious. And I ordered it. Oh my god. Same thing happened? <laughs> Bobby gets unused to the good stuff and then has to get unused to it. The good but evil stuff. Good but hurtful stuff. Good, how you doing? Good, help you with anything? Um, I don't know, maybe. I, uh, I bought a storage unit at the auction the other day. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm going to over. Original. It's a few, um, 
Barbie dolls in their package still for their anniversary. Real. Barbie dolls. Real nice shape. And some uh, tie cats. I don't woman though, right? You, you got them with you? Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. water ball in the 80s. Yeah. Bring them in. You want to walk outside? Sure. I'm going to walk out and look at them. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And uh, she had opened every one of them. Transformed them maybe once or twice. Had them on the play for a small period of time. Then she finished up school and uh, went to college. Before she did that, she put them all away in the individual Ziploc bag. Oh, you're cute. With every single item Not that they originally came with. They're actually hers. Yep. That's interesting. They have been in storage for 30 years. Wow. Brought them here. The Ziploc bag was so old that when you lifted the item out, the bag seemed started to tear on its own under the weight of the transformer that was in it. Wow. The, you could tell the plastic had just degraded to something fairly brittle. Those plastic bags from probably the late 80s or something yeah. like that. Still said Ziploc on it. It's been in there for a long, long time. Everything was clean. Everything was fresh. Everything was fine. That's crazy. Like an entire, like every single one for G1? Maybe not every one, but quite a few of the big ones. Including many of the uh, full-on combiners. This is incredible. I know. Look at this. Got a couple. Of, I meant to look this up. Like, is this the small helmeted mask? I'm not really sure. It looks pretty small mm -hmm. compared to. Like, this would be the larger version. Yeah. You guys were saying that I wasn't quite sure. Just don't know much about mask. I did finally get my GI Joe book though. Did you? Oh boy, that was. <laughs> the guy in San Francisco had a hardcover, and they're, they're right now they're selling on Amazon and eBay for about uh, two fifty to three hundred, maybe even a little bit more than that. What they're asking for oh the GI Joe book. So I got it for a hundred bucks. So I thought that was a steal. Look at this Star Wars section. I know. I bought a few Incredible. items out of this Incredible. Like, last year. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Sectors. Yep. Everywhere you turn, there's Yes. There's something. It takes me a couple of times to visit the store sometimes to gauge where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> it is that crazy. I mean even the he's got like swamp thing stuff. It's a cool line. Yeah. Kenner. So I was coming here quite a bit last year because we're helping my mom move out. She lived right down the road here. So I was able to come by like every couple of every couple of weeks or so. She doesn't live here anymore though? Uh, she moved down to Florida. Oh, okay. But, uh, that is a great price. Oh, I know. 96 bucks for a carded oh, nice. Ewoks? It might be recarded. Oh, really? I'm not sure. Oh, looks... no, you would have put that on there. It's pretty yellowed. Oh, yeah. And look at this though. I mean, I don't know what's going on with this. Like, I'm pretty sure I know how taped. Does this look resealed to you? It's got two. Usually the tape that I've seen on them kind of goes the long way. Is that, mm -hmm. does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what's going on with this, but. 55? Oh, there's a. No. Well, no. Pop is cut. Oh, five fifty-five. Yeah, that's what's kind of like, I'm not sure what's going on there. I would for fifty-five bucks. I'd pick that up. Well, hey, no big deal, man. What did you just say? That's why we've been here for a while. Is nothing? Oh, I love the Y wing. Look, it's nine nub. Yeah. So it's nine nub. Nine nub. And job of that here. Mm-hmm. Scout Walker. He's got the Imperial Cruiser version of this behind here, too. Okay. When he first put this out, I want to say it's been a year exactly, because I was just looking at my pictures. I must have bought eight or nine things. I bought two Hoth play sets, the Scout Walker, and the Empire box. I mean, I just went bonkers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I came home and she was like, What are you doing? <laughs> you just put a bunch of new stuff. I've never seen one of the stuff since I was a kid. <laughs> Uh, what for what? Me. Oh, for your... Oops. He had the play sets. I had the play sets with uh, kind of mushed boxes. Mm -hmm. They were like 
60, 75 bucks complete. They had all the pieces in them, but none of the cardboard insert. Not beautiful, but nice. You know? Right, right. One was like super dirty, but it was, again, you know me, I love to clean things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, restore them. That TIE fighter looked nice. Didn't that, didn't that turn out great? I yeah. I asked a friend of mine, I'm like, can you give me some cheap beater wings? Because he probably does his buy collections. And he, he had some, huh? Yep. He's like, I'll send them to you if you buy something else, basically for, for the cost of shipping. I'm like, yes. Because right now, TIE fighter wings, the white ones, they can go for 30, 40 bucks. For a single oh, wing, right? Times, ten or even ten or twenty, it's still not worth it. I'm I'm blown away. I forgot how just like packed yeah, this yeah. store is. Have you have to like, yeah, really. Wait till you get over there. That's just, I'm not allowed to look at that wall. <laughs> 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 it's like, like, when's the last time you saw Willow figures on the card? Like I know you, oh, have, I know you have a bunch of these, right? Mm -hmm. I do, I do. Loose. You have the Eversisk too, right? The, the big... I don't have that one. Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's such a cool creature. But like, look at this. It's a freaking High Wars alien back here. Like these are not these are not the common aliens. These ones are a little bit harder to find than mm -hmm. you know the like the, you the Hive up. Wars. Yep. And they look a lot more like aliens to me. Like, as a kid, this is what I would have grabbed if, had I still been into the line. Was, right. This was, like, a few years later. Though, That's a cool figure. Unfortunately. I like these. These are in nice shape. I was going to say, at this point, for turtle stuff, I mean, you have to be pretty close. <laughs> I do have a That's lot of it. For, like, I, I don't yeah. know what else there is. I don't... This stuff I don't have... Like this, I don't have these muta the muta raft and the muta bike. And what, like, what year? Where are we at with this mutations line? This has got to be like '92. Is that about right? No, this one says, "Yep, exactly '92." <laughs> you can see they took out. They, they kept taking out a new um, copyright. Right. This <laughs> is so like three dates on here. Oh man. This is cool. I love the little can of soup in there. Pet turtle canned food. You can't look over here. I know. It's. I can do the Transformers. It's not. But uh, even some of that uh, Gold Lion stuff and all that still kind of. You just don't see it all in one spot. No. This has been here for a while and it's getting crushed. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's empty. Last time I checked, I'm going to check again. Let's see. It's in here? Yep. See, this is an empty box. Oh. I would love to have this because it goes in with your Star Wars stuff like perfect. Shoot them an offer. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd like to have the ship. Oh, okay. The, the box is cool, but. The stacks of carded Ghostbusters. Oh, no. Those are bonkers. Visionary, Silverhawks. There's a Conan. I, said, I loved your, uh, that picture you put up the other day. Of you, you had the puff, the puffy state puffed. The big, the plush mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And that was like almost in scale with your figures. Yes. I think I remember asking for that at one point, but that's the one thing I have the most photos of is me with Ghostbusters stuff at Christmas. Because we have we found like six photos of my dad putting together the firehouse for me. Oh, and nice! I just thought you just got your firehouse. <laughs> yes, at uh, at Greencastle. Yep. I was stoked. How much did that run you? I got it with the figures and everything. I got like seven figures with it. It's like one fifty. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I had to buy the sign though. Yeah, I, think, I remember you saying that. Dude, the, the carded figures of that, that flea market you went to, <laughs> under, under, under a box, under something. What is going on down there? Look at this. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Is that legit? I guess so. Incredible. <laughs> You never 
Here's something you'll never see in a store. Anything with the logo on it is just killer. I am so close to completing that now. What's that? Dino Riders? Dino Rider sets. Yeah. They're nuts. You have that one? Yep. Yeah, it's just a two pack from the first wave. It's it's not too hard to get. He's got it down to 30 bucks now. Wow. I think he had like 120 on that at one point. It's like, the Dino Riders? Yeah. 30 bucks? I think that's a pretty good deal. Yep. For sealed. Oh my goodness. I know, right? You're going to have to. Yeah, this is. <laughs> It, it made me want one so bad now that they're re-releasing it. Oh, right, right. But I, it sounds like you're not going to be able to get one easily. Like Walmart's doing their exclusive thing. Who knows if we'll ever see it. You can pre-order it. But I almost think if I'm going to spend any money, I'm just going to get an original one. You don't have an original one? Or do, you, or do you actually want the box? I think I want the box. That was, before Star Wars, that was my favorite toy. That, that Ecto, I had both of them. I had Ecto-1 and A2. Yeah, yeah I, I never had a firehouse. I had an Ecto, a lot of the Ghosts and the Ghostbusters, but... but... Did you have, the big thing for me was this, the Ghostbusters. I think I made a comment on your thing. We didn't get, if, if you were late to the line, you didn't get the Ghostbusters with the proton packs. Right. And that drove me insane. Yeah, because they, the, they were the first issue. And... Yeah, and then they went right to the, the Fright ones, which right. I swear to God, they made way more of than the ones with proton packs. But later on, what I did end up getting eventually was the Ghostbusters, the slime heroes have proton packs mm. the uniforms a little off but they're still the, basically the same figure as you would have gotten in the beginning and that's that's what he has in it he has a little sealed in uh i remember my mom going crazy trying to find those we had to go to malls to find them they were not easy to get because they were very hot let me know if you need any questions of course thank you this is look at these remcos in here too Sealed chic. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. See those mm -hmm. And the new Adventures of He-Man down there. A couple Jedi figures back there. Oh, Punky Brewster. How about that? I don't see that every day either. Jeez. That's awesome. That Fortress of Fangs. Would say widely regarded as one of the best play sets ever made. And at Firehouse, I think I played with it quite a bit, but it was sort of like they uh, people told me too that I guess mine's kind of like the variant because it doesn't have the purple front. Like, really? my my firehouse doesn't have the purple facades. Like, the brick yeah. on the front of it, that's not purple. It's still, it's just gray. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at this mask stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Clone Wars. That's almost as nice as the one we just cleaned up. He didn't have too many loose ships recently. He had to it. He's got an X-Wing there. Mm -hmm. Peter and a tie right here. A Joker van. That's kind of cool. That's been up there for a while. Um, in Canada, I would have asked for that if I knew it existed back then because that's toy bids, so that's even before the counter stuff. Mm -hmm. But that was reused a couple of times, apparently. Is it there? A, maybe not that uh, there wasn't an 18 van, I'm trying to remember who the other van was, some obscure thing. And it was 
it has all the same features on it. It wasn't the big gym van, I don't think. Yeah, it was probably whoever toy biz. That's two Krakens now. I know. <laughs> I, like... I can't even find one. And the Godzilla, yep. the Shogun Godzillas, the alien, yeah. Kenner alien. I still can't believe they made that as a toy. Oh, they have the 16 inch Commando. Oh, that is sweet. Turtles. What's up? Oh, there you go. That was popper. So with the proton pack, this is the other gun I had. Mm -hmm. You probably had. You oh, had yeah. a proton pack, didn't you? Yeah. But there's there's one that projects. There's a Deutrona thrower. There's probably about five or six cosplay Deutrona guns. I like that one just because it was kind of like a Nerf gun at the time. But yeah, look at this Night Raven. Where is it? Oh, yeah. You gonna get it? Uh, we'll see. I gotta do some <laughs> research on this. So apparently this is broken. But the landing gear are in right shape. It has all three. It looks like it's missing a couple of parts too. These missile launcher deals. That cycle. Broke. See, that's my... Toy Hio. Yeah. I'll I'll be there too. Nice. Because I'll be at Steel City Con the weekend before. It's back to back. And then Toy Hio is the following weekend. Which Toy Hio is probably one of the largest toy shows in the area, don't you think? I think so. Yeah. It's bigger than the Carlisle show then. I think uh, slightly. Okay. I'm not sure. This side. It's probably mostly vinyl and die cast, but now he's got more stuff on the wall. There's an ad at models in the corner, but the loose stuff of the uh, kind of beater project stuff is right here. Which I was, it always came swung in, even if I only had a couple minutes to check this out. This is where I got my sand crawler. Mm, okay. We've got some stuff back here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Got a pizza thrower over here. Yep. Some turtle stuff. And... All sorts of Joe and Motu stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's the Ecto 1A still down there. Yeah, it is. What's left of it? Mm hmm. Okay. Need doors and. Yeah, it's just about everything. <laughs> yeah, it looks it's like just the shell. Missing the mechanism underneath, too, unfortunately. The claw. Yeah. Jurassic Park stuff. the Calabunga beach buggy which one is that on the wall on the top oh yeah look at that you guys have a Robin Hood battle wagon too oh yeah yeah up here in the corner I'm not gonna get <laughs> Pirates of Dark Water there's a Legions of Power set I just picked up one of them at the flea market last weekend. Ten bucks. I like the artwork on that box. That's not a bad price either. Planetary control vehicles. 
I could just buy the Robin Hood one and just pretend I have an Ewok one. Yep. <laughs> Is it, are the battle wagons identical? I think there's some variant to it, but the Power of the Force battle wagon is pretty pricey. Yes. I think there's one. I think uh, Harry has one. I've always been afraid to ask how much it is, though. But I can't really fit it on. They already own, I own this. Do you, do you have a Legacy Falcon? Mm -mm. No. So I was trying, I was trying to ditch that one toy show. It was a PA. Uh, I did find get rid of it, though. I had two of them. How'd you have? Here. How'd you have two of them? I, they were when they came out. They said they were sold out, and then the next day they popped back in stock, and I'm like, I mean, I should grab a couple of them. It was a huge mistake because they're still in stock today. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they, they they make they short sell you on every single other thing that there is in existence except the one that you buy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot better than this one because it has all the weathering on it. It looks amazing. Yeah, there's a... He's got a power to force one hanging from the ceiling over here. I don't even know what that is. Yep. You're trying to get all the various versions? No. I, I'm happy with my vintage and then you know, that last, uh, what do you want to call it? That was the, the Disney Park exclusive one is what mm -hmm. that is. And I think that's where I got caught because Disney probably ordered a lot more of those. No, I probably, but I don't know how. Yeah, this, these, are, these are like the I mean, first box you bought where you got 60 or 80 percent of Okay guys, so I am back from my trip to the Lost in Time Toy Store in Laurel, Maryland. And I'll tell you what, I had a blast. I had such a good time walking around the store, peeking in every corner. As you can see in the video, there's stuff everywhere. Um, there's somewhat of an organization to it. You know, great Star Wars selection and some of the higher priced items are behind cases and in glass cases. But there's lots of stuff out just on the shelves that you just have to scour for and I love that because it adds kind of a flea market element to it because you don't know what you're gonna find it's not perfectly organized where everything has a spot things are just kind of thrown on the shelves in the front room and it's it's just a lot of fun to go through and you know the prices are reasonable Marty the owner he was very friendly and his friend Ed was in there who helped me quite a bit finding some things and getting some things down off the higher shelves. And of course I was there with my buddy Matt, who met me there. Uh, you know Matt from my toy exchange video, Is that's actually where we met. And then he was at my last uh, Greencastle toy show video. You can hear him in the background. So um, just, just a great time, a fantastic time. And I, I hope you enjoyed the video as well and you saw some goodies that maybe you would have picked up as well. Uh, but let me show you what I came back with. So first up is another Skeleton Warriors figure. This is Ursac the Guardian. And this was mint on card, as you can see. Again, in Playmates fashion, they package these figures with tons of accessories. I got this for only 10 bucks. See the card art there at the top. This is my second Skeleton Warriors figure. I picked up Grimskull from uh, my buddy Chuck. Here's Grimskull here. Down at Time Traveler Toys in Winchester. And so, this is just a cool action figure line. I'm not an expert in this line or anything like that, but they're cool figures and Playmates did a really good job with these. And for 10 bucks, I figured why the heck not. Then I found a nice carded example of this Wildcats Damonite figure. And this is, I think, one of the first bad guys that I picked up in the line. 
I've been mainly picking up the wild cats themselves. And so I was pretty excited to find this Damonite figure. I'll take the camera here. Again, excellent artwork. And, you know, specific cards for each figure. The way they had to manufacture these cards and cut them out to align themselves with the actual character's card art. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And again, you don't see that anymore. This, of course, is from Series 1. And like I said, you know, here are the Wildcats themselves. And then uh, the bad guys over here, Hell's Pont and the Daemonite. So, um, again, this was a cheap figure for me to pick up. Ten bucks. I'll leave him on the card like I have with all of my other Wildcats figures. Then I got a couple of awesome boxed Swamp Thing vehicles to add to my Swamp Thing collection. And I, I'll tell you what, this, is, uh, this was an awesome find for me because I love the Kenner Swamp Thing figures. They're not crazy expensive. Um, so if you wanna get into this line, now is the time to do it before prices go up. I'm assuming they will eventually, maybe not. Maybe they plateaued at where they're at. But typically you can find carded and loose figures for, for a very, very good price. They, had, they made five episodes of this cartoon. It didn't last very long. Um, Kenner, you know, probably had high hopes for this line, but it it kind of fizzled. And I think for, for the most part, most of it was clearanced. Um, I did not have this one. This is the Bayou Blaster. This is Arcane's vehicle that they used in the cartoon. There's the side art there, and there's the back. is Anton Arcane plowing through the swamp in his torpedo armed bayou blaster and uh, as it says here on the box torpedo really fires and like I said this is from Kenner from 1990 great great vehicle of course I'll leave this in the box I will not bring myself to open it um, but I'll, I'll try to find some room on display and uh, put it next to my loose Swamp Thing figures. And here's the other Swamp Thing vehicle I picked up. This is Swamp Thing's Bog Rover and it has a launching grappling missile. I actually do have this one loose but it's not complete and uh, the, the handlebars are broken on it. Um, so to find this complete in the box I was on board with that. And again, you know, great box art got the classic Swamp Thing logo with his face here. Um, artwork of Swamp Thing on the vehicle and of course the fine folks at Kenner. There's kind of a picture of the vehicle itself and the action features. The skis also turn in various directions and then the, the, you know, the grappling hook fires as well. There's a closer look of the back of the box. And this is sealed, so I'll, I'll keep it that way. Uh, another a fine example of Kenner's awesome Swamp Thing line. Then I picked up a couple of loose, 100% complete with caps, Robocop and the Ultra Police figures. Uh, if you recall, I pulled out a bunch of these from the bargain bin at D&E. So these are actually my first complete ones and they were for a good price too. They were only seven bucks. And actually, I think I kind of got one buy one, get one free. Uh, so I was excited about that. This is, of course, the main enemy, Dr. McNamara. And he is mint. It's like these just came off the card. Just incredible shape. There's their cap firing mechanism there in the back that all these figures had. Like, no paint wear at all on this. And then, like I said, they even came with the caps, the roll of caps that were, came packaged with these figures. And then we also have another one of the bad guys, Nitro. It's kind of cool, right? Has that face paint, like that war paint under his eyes and that orange mohawk ponytail thing, another tattoo there. Very cool, all accessories. Almost like Shawn Michaels type pants there. <laughs> and also 
with his two rolls of caps. So awesome, awesome find here too as well. And here's one of the Exo Squad pieces I picked up. This is the Typhonus figure with the high speed stealth E-frame. And this is 100% complete loose with box. Um, these E-frame figures had these flip boxes, much like the, kind of like the mutations figures did for Ninja Turtles. And again, this is by Playmates Toys. And Playmates even did the Mutiforce Turtles um, alongside the Exo Squad figures. Uh, the Mutiforce were kind of like uh, turtle-shaped E-frames, and then the little Ninja Turtles went inside of them. Uh, similar to this Exo Squad toy line. Uh, so this is again 100% complete loose. I mean, so I, you know, I can remove the bubble and, and take it out and complete it. The only odd thing about this, and I didn't even realize it until I sent Chad a picture of it, is that the figure somebody painted. This is not how uh, the the figure Typhonus is, is supposed to look. Um, let me uh, show. Here you go. So there's the figure. He's more of like a blue and a, and a purple color. And uh, someone painted him black with orange highlights, green belt, gray boots. Um, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I think they did a pretty good job. But on closer inspection, yes, uh, somebody did paint this guy. Um, so I'm actually going to be looking for this figure to, to complete the E-frame set. And uh, just so I have an original figure with it, um, I'll just kind of throw this one beside it. But um, cool line. You can see the original Toys R Us price tag, $9.99. And there it is on the back. And of course, they have the different E frames and figures available, the clip and save bio card, and then the actual E frame mechanisms and uh, weapon systems on it. Uh, of course, this is from 1993. There was a cartoon, of course, that went along with this as well, so I highly rec recommend you guys checking that out. And I'll show you my next Exo Squad piece. And here is the much larger E frame I picked up. This is Maggie Weston with the Field Repair Light Attack E frame. And I'll move my camera here so you can see the whole box art. Very similar to kind of like a, a Kenner Aliens power loader. And this one is near complete. So I'll actually show you the toy because I, it's just loose in the box. And again, it shows you what it does and the Exo Squad story. And there's the additional action features and all the different E-frames. So let me pull out the actual toy. So there is the whole E-frame with Maggie Weston. Great toy. Here's that little grappling hook feature that they have there. And here are the weapons that move up and down. There's the arm that has this firing mechanism that fires the rockets. And then there's Maggie West in there in the cockpit. And it has this cool feature where if you, if you hit this button here, the cockpit will actually burst off like that. So I think that's pretty neat. There's the figure. Maggie Weston. And she has her accessories as well. Came with that pistol. As well as this kind of like grappling hook thing. And then this fires up here too. As long as you just push down on it. it flies out. Oh man. That ran into my double dragon figures. <laughs> <laughs> but great, great toy line. Uh, I'm excited to kind of adventure into this line as well. And the last item I picked up is one more vehicle complete with box for my mask collection. And this is the Gator vehicle. Of course, this is a Jeep and then it transforms into a hydroplane. 
uh, kind of like a ski, like a jet ski sort of thing. Um, and then of course it comes with the Dusty Haze figure with the Backlash mask. Show you the box here. Again, that beautiful artwork. I think it's kind of funny all the all of the different sized boxes that Mask had. Um, if you if you see the vehicle here, you would not think it would come in a long rectangular box. It would, you know, you would think it more comes in a square box, <laughs> but um, it did not. And so I was happy to find this too. And there's Dusty Haze Backlash Mask. Uh, this comes with um, the beer keg, if you will, but it's technically called a depth charge, uh, a cannon, and then of course a, another roll bar blaster on it. And here's Dusty Haze and his mask. Put that on right there. It's a little loose on him. It's okay. And, and here is the vehicle itself. The Gator Jeep. It's in very, very nice condition. And uh, the action feature here, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. It's, it's a little tricky. You have to really make sure it sets properly and gets locked into place. But there are two knobs here on either side of the car and you're supposed to just kind of pull back on them and it flies out like that and so here is the hydroplane again 100% complete has the stickers on it and then of course you can put that in it and uh, you're supposed to take the mask off of Dusty here and put it on the ski sled like that of course, go ahead and put Dusty in there. Like so there it is. There is the Gator vehicle. So that's it, guys. That was my trip to the Lost in Time toy store in Laurel, Maryland. And just so you guys know, I have a couple toy shows coming up that I'm going to video. The first one is going to be Steel City Con. That's coming up here in maybe a week or two, June 11th. And then uh, after that is my buddy Rick's show. Rick runs Time Capsule Toys over in Girard, Ohio. He is hosting Toy Hio. The following weekend, so I'm gonna go to that show. And then my buddy Andy Cook is hosting the Toys for the Ages Expo. which is going to be in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I, uh, he actually reached out to me and asked me to be the YouTuber and, and vlogger for his toy show. Uh, so we're gonna have exclusive access uh, a day early, go in there and talk to the vendors and all about toys and possibly even do a live stream video in August, uh, the day of the show, which is going to be August 14th, it's a Saturday. Um, Chad is also going to be there with me, so he and I are very excited, and I wanted to thank Andy Cook for reaching out to me and asking me to be a part of this awesome toy show. And I hope you guys will tune in as well during that live stream. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on hunting.